Hello and welcome to Selenium Expert Tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how you can use AND and OR operators in finding Selenium Expert. So AND and OR expressions or operators are very useful and you can utilize them in Selenium Expert expression whenever you are trying to find the web element wherein you don't have the unique attributes the attributes with unique value or their dynamic value or you want to combine multiple attributes to uh, find the unique web element or the web element that you're looking for so you'll most of the time you'll be utilizing and and or uh, expressions to figure out those complex expats or dynamic uh, dynamic expats uh, it is uh, very helpful if you want to use more than two attributes to find the web element on the page. So the syntax is pretty simple. So uh, relative expat starts with double slash and then whatever tag you are looking for. Say for example, input tag or div tag in the HTML DOM. And on, within this tag, if you want to use multiple attributes, so a particular tag can have multiple attributes. Say for example, ID. Uh, is one attribute name is one attribute class is another attribute so if you want to combine these attributes the values of these attributes to find that web element uniquely that's where and and or are very helpful uh, similarly so for uh, the or the syntax and uh, the syntax for the and the only difference is to replace or with and right so let's understand this with an example so I'll open uh, the Chrome browser and here I have this Salesforce developers page so let me scan the first element or inspect the first element which is the name field uh, right click and inspect in the Chrome browser and now for this particular field I'll explain you how you can use multiple attributes to figure out the X path for this web element so let me do command F or control F if you're using Windows and I'll start with double forward slash and then the tag name. So tag name for this element is input. So I'll just say input and then the square brackets within the square bracket. I'll use the first attribute. So I'll use the type attribute as the first one. So I'll just say type uh, sorry at the rate type and then is equal to the value in the type so I'll just say text is the value right so now you can see this particular um, input or the first name input has been selected but because this type text is present in other uh, tags as well so you can see here one of five so this is not uniquely identified there are five elements on this page which uh, are of input type and have the type as text now in order to identify these sort of web elements uniquely you can use and and or um, which are really really helpful so what i can say is i can say and right and then i can use another attribute right so we can say id or the value class right so or the name or any of the attributes that are mentioned here so I'll say name is equal to and then the name right so I'll just copy the name and provide the name there right so now you can see this particular text box has been selected so only one of one is available now because now we have used the and operator which basically means is that I want to find the input tag in this particular web page which has the type as text and name as user first name now if I change it to or okay you can still see you can see now that it is showing one of five so if I am using or it is basically not returning me the unique web element but or comes very handy when you want a web element to be identified with one or the other attribute so depending on what situation you are in and what you are trying to look at you can utilize the operators and 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 or 
in finding the web element so let me change this to and sorry lowercase and and copy this particular xpath and try to run it in the pycharm in the robot framework all right so i'll simply change the code here so i'll copy this particular xpath and i'll say that i want to pass in the value rcv academy and then remove this line here because this is text field i'll use the keyword input text in the robot framework and if you're using selenium with java or selenium with python you have to change this function accordingly for inputting the text and the x path will still remain same so i'll just because this is uh, the robot framework i'll just say x path colon and this will be the x path that will be utilized to input the text rcv academy in that particular first name field so after these changes let me run this script and it will open developers.salesforce.com it will maximize the browser and type in the value that we have identified using the or operator and has typed in the value in the first name right it will wait four seconds and close the browser so now you can see that we have utilized and uh, operator to identify the x path with multiple attributes so this has uh, this tag is input it has one attribute so i'm looking for the input tag or the web element which has the input tag and the attribute type as text and name is user first name so that's how you will be utilizing the and and or operators in the selenium xpath to find the selenium xpath which are unique on the web page so hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching